Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kay and today I'm filming a Forever 21 haul. I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I stopped shopping at Forever 21 like a while back because I feel like their stuff really started to deteriorate in quality. Like I would buy something from there and I would wash it like once, maybe twice, and it would just fall apart. The prices were very comparable to H&M, which I felt like H&M is just a little bit better in quality anyways. And so I just stopped I just stopped buying from there. Plus, I would go into the store and I'd find like a really, really cute shirt and I'd turn it around and it would say like Rainbow Princess. I would find like a really, really cute bag and on the side it would say Taco Tuesday, something like that. Or it would just have like butterflies all over it. And I feel like I'm at the age now, I'm almost 30 where that, is not my swag. Not that it ever was, but it's not my swag anymore, for sure, now. So I stopped shopping there for a minute. Um, just recently, I started shopping there again. I started looking around just for cardigans because I'm a cardigan girl. I love wearing cardigans just because you can throw them on, they keep you warm, if you find good ones, like they last forever, and they just really play up an outfit. I decided to go ahead and give them a try. Um, before this, I probably haven't bought anything from Forever 21 now for, ooh, I'd say like three years. And so this is the first purchase I've made in a really long time. So I wanted to share that with you guys, um, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna go ahead and do. First thing I wanted to show you guys is this cardigan. This is probably my favorite cardigan that I got out of my whole haul. It has this really nice pattern on it. It's just like a straight pattern. I don't even know what you call it. Like it's just a straight pattern. It's this really, really pretty brown color. It's like a mocha brown. I will say it does fit a little bit tight. It was a little bit tight in my arms um, and it's a long line cardigan. So it goes down all the way past my knees. The material feels so thick and it doesn't feel really thin. And um, it has a really nice stretch to it, which is good because like I said, this is very, very tight on my arms. In Forever 21 sizing, I am a size small because that's one thing. Their sizing can be so off. Sometimes their sizing, you could be a size small. Sometimes you could be an extra small. And Things like this, I'm a size medium. I probably should have sized up to a medium, but I would have never known that because I don't buy mediums in Forever 21. This time I should have. This goes, I absolutely love this cardigan. It has pockets, which is a win. I love having pockets. If something doesn't have pockets, I kind of give it the side eye. You know, like, mm -hmm. and as far as the color goes, it goes with everything. Like you can wear it with gray jeans, which is my staple color jean that I wear all the time. Or you can wear it with black jeans, you can wear it with, um, you know, a really pretty dress underneath. I think this would be so cute over a white bodycon dress with some nude heels. Tell me that's not a whole look. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show you guys is this really pretty nude, they call it taupe, but it's a nude colored trench coat. It's made out of, hold on, let me check the material. What is this even called? polyester. It wrinkles really easy. That's one thing I don't like about it. When I got this, let me tell you, I had to take a steamer to it and it took me a good ooh, 10, 15 minutes to go ahead and steam this because it was just that bad. Like you can see it already. I don't, well, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but I mean, it is what it is. It's still really pretty. Um, it is very sheer though. I can see through it. See, you can see my hand through it. Um, which is fine. I knew it wasn't gonna keep me warm. It's just one of those pieces that I thought would just be really cute with an all white outfit or, you know, wear it with a bodycon dress um, or just throw it on over some jeans, like when I'm wearing jeans. So it's just a really cute trench coat. It's really flimsy, but look how cute it looks. Okay, this does not have pockets though. I kind of wish it did, but I feel like if it had pockets, it would take away from the look. So I'm kind of glad it doesn't have pockets, but at the same time, I wish it did have pockets for functionality purposes. The sleeves are kind of long for me. I've folded them like four times, which doesn't look bad. It doesn't look like, ooh, girl, what are you doing? I think I could even fold it a fifth time, yeah. I'm kind of into three, three quarter length sleeves anyways. So um, it works if I do that. 
Okay, this is what I was talking about when I'm like, oh girl, what is this? I don't like that. What in the world? I can fix that later. And guys, like this was I think less than $25. I was gonna buy one from another store which was gonna cost about $115. So I found this one instead. And this would pair so cute with some white jeans, a white tank top like this, some nude heels. Imagine going to brunch with your girls and showing up like that. It's a whole vibe. Like you come up looking like super radiant like that. Okay, next item that I wanted to show you guys is this camel coat. It's kind of a fail. I really didn't like it. I saw it on an influencer online and I thought, dude, she looks bomb in it. And she wore it super casual with like a hoodie underneath and some trainers on. And I was like, I could totally rock that. When I bought this and tried it on, I looked like shit. First of all, I hate what this pattern looks like. like I feel like it looks like mush cereal. I Maybe I'm being dramatic, but I hate it. I, I prefer that it was solid and it's not. The material just looks really cheap. And on top of that, it came wrinkled, which I get you can go and steam, that's fine. But like, it just seems like it wrinkles really easily. Like, it came to the point where I looked like I was drowning in this. And you'll see in the clip when I try it on, but um, the whole idea was I wanted a coat again, and I wanted a coat again just to throw on when I run errands or when I go to the grocery store or like when I'm going to a dinner, it's just like a cute coat to throw on. I'll show you in the try on clip, it just, it just didn't turn out that way. I'm literally drowning in this thing. Like it's huge. I just, this is this is something that I'm disappointed in and I just I'm definitely returning it. I also am not a fan when jackets do this where they have like this. I don't know if you can even see it. It it folds this way and then this thing just hangs and like it I don't know how to explain it. Ugh, it's a hot mess. Too oversized for my small frame. Um, it's definitely going back, but I wanted to show you guys maybe if you like it, maybe if you're taller or um, have longer arms than I do, it might look better on you. I mean, you could rock this and like pull it the F off. I sure as heck can't. So, uh, but I wanted to show you guys anyways, just because I want to show you the good and the bad. Um, for me, this is just the bad. Next item I got is totally going with the Codigan vibe. It is this jersey material gray, like it looks like the material of a hoodie, but it is like the form of a blazer. It's super long, almost to the point where it's a little bit too long for me. I might get this tailored, but I'm not sure yet. It has this really nice collar. The blazer looks really structured. It's super comfortable on. I'm not gonna say that it has a ton of stretch because it doesn't. It just, it's just a really good throw on piece. The, I bought this in a size extra small just because I didn't want an oversized look, but I just, I'm on the fence about this. Might keep it and just get it tailored. I, I don't know, actually, yeah, I might just do that. Anytime my coats have pockets, I love that. And so the price for it was $34.99. I'd probably pair this with a black bodycon dress and some combat boots, or I would pair this with just mom jeans and some heels if I wanted to go to a meeting. It's just a really good Codigan to have. I'm so into Codigans, but I feel like it's hard to find a good Codigan. On the next item, I have this black cardigan and it has this ribbing on it. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it has this really nice ribbing on it. And guys, I love this cardigan. Besides that brown cardigan that I showed you guys earlier, this is probably, this is my favorite thing that I've got. I absolutely love it. It has such good stretch and the material is so soft. I'm all about soft material because I want it to be comfortable. It's just perfect. Like, it's so pretty. And then the sleeve, the sleeves have this cuff on it. So it's just the details like that I, that I really love. It's long line, it goes past my knees, which I really like. I'm super into long line cardigans or coats. I would probably pair it with everything. Like, you can't go wrong with a basic black cardigan. 
there's so many things that you can pair with a black cardigan. So if you were going to work, an outfit that I would throw on would be just like a layered look where you can put this on over, over a white button and some gray slacks, pair it with um, some jeans, like some mom jeans and some sneakers and a graphic tee. That's really cute as well. Is someone at the door? Yeah, you could throw this on with a graphic tee and some mom jeans and some trainers and just have it look really casual. This is an endless possibility type piece. Like there's so much you can do with this. I highly suggest checking this out. I have it in multiple colors, which I'll show you. I bought it in white as well. I absolutely love the white. Um, it's more of a cream color and I think they may have this in like a mustard color as well, but I'm not really a mustard girl. So I stuck with my plain black and white cardigans. It's just a really nice black long line cardigan. How can you go wrong with that? Here's the same cardigan I just showed you, but in this nice ivory color and Hopefully you can see it better on screen. I've already washed this and it washed so well. I've already worn this. I wore it with a graphic tee and some gray jeans. That's all I ever wear is gray jeans, but nothing wrong with that. That's just my basic. I'm gonna come out with a video very soon about unique basics that you can have in your wardrobe without being too basic. So watch out for that video, it's coming out soon. And it has a really pretty ribbing and hopefully you can see it better, but this is that cuffing that I was talking about on the sleeves. So just wanted to show you guys this real quick. It's the same thing as the black one, just an ivory. That concludes my Forever 21 haul. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed it. To be honest with you, I lost my faith in Forever 21 a long time ago, but this, this haul, this time around, it really brought it back. I feel okay buying certain things from Forever 21 again. Um, thank you for watching my video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate you for being on my channel and watching my video all the way through. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. I'll be sure to comment back. Love you so much, and I'll see you guys next time. Mwah.